When Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam comes to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam in the form of a man, the way he approaches him, Sayyidina Umar narrates the hadith, radiallahu ta'ala an, and he says about it, he says, la yara athar safar alayhi, we did not see, we did not see the, 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 the traces of, of, of traveling on him. Of course, he was, a, he was the, the angel Jibreel alayhi salam, but at the same time, he said, he had shiny black hair. And he had a white robe, and he was perfumed. And then he comes to the Prophet of God, sallallahu alaihi and he sits before him, directly putting, giving him all his attention. And he sits before him calmly and puts his knees against his knees with so much adab, with so much adab. And then we we go and see the Prophet of God, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, during Umrah and during Hajj. And if, especially if you haven't gone before. And when you enter, you enter through what? To Bab salam the door of safety, the door of salam. Because when you enter in the, in the sanctuary of the Prophet ﷺ, you're in a state of safety and peace. You're in a state of being whole. And then you see him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that is the climax of humanity. That is the greatest experience the human being could ever have in this world is to go visit the grave of the Prophet Sallallahu and stand before him Sallallahu And that is why when you exit, when you exit from Al-Baqi, the, the, the door of the graveyard, because once you've seen him and been with him, then that's it, you can go. Back to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. But we go, how do we go to him? Some of us, we're on FaceTime as we walk by. Hardly even looking, hardly even making dua, hardly even making salam. I'm not judging anybody. I'm just saying for your first time, go with respect to the prophet of God. Because he said, the one that comes visits my grave, my intercession for that big person becomes obligatory on me. And once he may intercedes for you, what's left?